you doing, Manginas? Tanky Toddle here, bringing you guys Halo 4 gameplay. And this was actually my second game ever on Halo 4 multiplayer. Second game ever. This is all the the loadouts that I had to pick from. Oh, actually, it looks like that one I actually made myself. But as you see, I don't get to use everything. So I think I used the default layout after I died once. And I even for... Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing now. <laughs> I don't know. I picked some layout and I stuck with it, I think. But anyway, so... Yeah, it was my second gameplay. I didn't record my first one, but it was pretty good. And this one is actually pretty good. I was really surprised that I could pick up this game and do really well with it. Because I know when I played Halo 3 and then like Call of Duty, there was a good old teabag. I, I missed it. And when I played Halo 3 and went back to play like Modern Warfare 2 and stuff, I couldn't transition well. And the same thing happened with Reach. So I got rid of Reach. I, I wasn't a big fan of it anyways. But I was really surprised that I got on Halo 4 here. And I kicked some ass. Look at that guy killing himself. <laughs> what a loser. But I was really surprised that I can actually transition. I actually did really well. So you'll see in this gameplay I do pretty good for just my second game without having all the cool ass uh, things to put on my, um, my my class to make. And I don't even know what this fucking gun is. I still don't know how to use it very well. So I'm really I'm, I'm still a Halo 4 noob. But I love it. I love Halo 4. I'm addicted to it right now. Um, and I've been playing it a lot. So if you actually have Halo 4 and still play it. Hit me up, man. Go to GamerTag Tanky Toddler, message me. Or, yeah, just Tanky Toddler, just message me. Leave it in the comment, you know, whatever you want to do. Because uh, I would love to play with some people that play Halo 4. Since right now it's just me and my friend that usually play it every once in a while, Portuguese. So, anyways, um, let's get to my topic that I want to discuss. And it is about gaming conventions. Uh, recently, Paxis just wrapped up this last weekend. And um, I really don't know a whole lot about gaming conventions. I'm not. A, I, I just never really looked into it. I never thought I'd be interested because I'm primarily just a first-person shooter gamer, and I'm really not a totally in-depth into like that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, I play video games, but I really don't really. I don't know. I guess I don't make it my um, outside personal life to get into video games. Does that make sense? Like I'm usually I play a couple of video games, but I don't play a whole lot, and I'm not a video game nerd if that makes sense. But I'm slowly turning into one, and I thought about it that I want to go to a gaming convention, right? So I'm looking up online about the best gaming conventions, and I didn't know E3 isn't open to uh, the public. I thought E3 was an event that people could go to. Uh, I'm wrong, I guess. I looked that up the other day. So my question is, what are some good um, gaming conventions in the in United States? I can't go to one uh, in Europe or anywhere. Uh, I don't believe. Yeah, I can't. That's too expensive. So I can't go to one in a different country, unfortunately. But... Right now, the one I'm kind of looking at is um, PAX Prime in Seattle, and they haven't released a date yet. Last year, it was in August, late August to uh, early October, wait, September, that's the month after August. So anyways, um, it's probably going to be around then again, but that's right at the beginning of my school, but it's the first weekend of school, so I can probably miss one of my classes. It's not a big deal since it's just starting. So anyways, what I'm basically trying to say is um, I'm looking for a gaming convention to go. And there's one in Des Moines every year, the city that I pretty much live right by, our Iowa's big city. But it's really not a very big one. It's not a great one. It's more for, like, tournaments of card games, um, other, like, World of War games, and uh, what's that one really popular game? Not Diablo 3, Star StarCraft. StarCraft 2, uh, whatever, whatever number follows StarCraft. Um, I think there's a tournament for that here too. So I'm probably going to check it out, see what it's like, because I know a couple of gaming friends around in this area that will probably be interested in going. But I want to I want to go to a big one. I want to I want to see what it's like. And plus, I really kind of want to leave Iowa. And uh, right now, it's between gaming convention in Seattle or a music festival in Las Vegas that I went to last year. And the problem with that is I really don't know if my friend from last year is going to go back again since he lives in a different state now. So I'm like, what should I do? Like. I don't know, and it's supposed to be pretty cool. I'm hoping that I'm a, I'll am at least be a pretty decent-sized YouTube channel. I'm hoping by next September I'm going to be around 5,000 subscribers. So uh, while that's not a very big channel, I'm sure I'll have a subscriber or, or a few that actually go out in Seattle and go to PAX Prime, and I'd love to meet up and meet some fans. I think that would be pretty cool, and there's no other opportunity for me to do it besides gaming conventions. Um, plus, I think I might be able to meet some other YouTubers. It'll be fun just to experience it myself. There's music there. Uh, I'll get to play different games because I think if I play enough different games, I'll start to get I'll start to get into it and start to like more video games. Uh, since like I just bought Crisis 3 the other day, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I just like you know what I have money. I kind of want to buy it. It looks kind of cool, so I'll check it out. And I'm probably gonna do a series on that. We'll see how it goes. Um, but 
I just really, I just don't really know what gaming convention kind of offers for me, and I also don't know what uh, are the good gaming conventions in North America. Because I know the PAX, all the PAX ones. I know Eurogamer is really cool, but I can't go to Europe one. And other than that, like I don't know. I know Comic Con, but that's there's a little bit of gaming. It's more comics. I'm not into comics. I probably won't be. So uh, Comic Con's out. Even though I heard it's a pretty cool event, even if you don't are into comments, comics. And the other thing too with PAX East, no, excuse me, well even PAX East, PAX Peace or PAX Prime is the uh, uh, the nightlife. As in, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get drunk, <laughs> and it'd be kind of fun to drink with gamers. I've never gotten drunk with a bunch of gaming nerds, and I, I mean that in a good way. I, like I'm not saying gaming nerds is a derogatory term. I consider myself myself uh, a um, work in progress gaming nerd, or or pretty much there, a gaming nerd poser. I'm, I'm kind of a gaming nerd, but I'm slowly transitioning the deeper nerd level. Um, but anyways. I, I've never drank with gaming nerds and I could talk video games too, because the people I hang out with here in personal life, if I talk about video games, they'll be like, they'll they'll hit the snooze button, they'll fall asleep on me, so um, it'd be kind of cool to go out and talk video games with people. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay, like I said, this is only the second game I played on Halo 4. I'm not even sure what good gameplay on Halo 4 is. I don't, I'm not sure what actually YouTube quality gameplay is. I just kind of want to upload this. I know this is probably not gameplay quality since um, I do die quite a bit and it's not a great score. It's a decent score, especially for my second time ever. I just wanted to have some extra gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like Halo 4. I'll be uploading a lot more. I already have two more gameplays right now on my um, computer and I've only played for a day. So this game is amazing. I can't. I'm I'm in love with the pistol. I'm in love with the pistol. You got it. You baby, you want it. Uh, I love that a pistol actually works in this game again, because it wasn't it wasn't so great in um in Halo 3 and uh, Halo Reach. And I don't even I don't even consider ODST a Halo game. That game sucked. So anyways, um, say Harry Manginas. Yeah.